Well, recently we told you about the Aware Migrants campaign aimed at would-be migrants in Africa about the dangers of heading to Europe via the Mediterranean Sea. It aims to reach people in 15 African countries through social media, radio and television adverts. Now, for more about the Aware campaign, Flavio Di Giacomo, a spokesman for the International Organization for Migration, has, joins me uh, via Skype from Geneva. Uh, Flavio, welcome to Africa 54. Hello. Yeah, now, first off, uh, how did uh, this idea come about, uh, that you actually need to pe make people aware and how did this become your business? Well, actually, this uh, information campaign was developed after here, actually, I am spokesperson for UM Coordination Office in the Mediterranean. We have been working on landing points for over 10 years now, and we have been gathering thousands of testimonies of migrants who arrived by sea, and we have registered in the last two, three years that there is an increasing number of migrants that when they arrived, they told us that they didn't have any actually idea about the danger that they were going to face during the journey, especially in Libya. The violence and abuses they, they experienced in Libya was a complete surprise for them. So that's why they told me sometimes, if I knew probably I wouldn't take the decision to come. When we heard the stories, so many stories, we understood that there is a gap of information. Those who arrive here do not tell to their relatives at home, those who are potential migrants, about the risks of in, uh, irregular migration and about the risks in Libya. So we wanted to gather testimonies and to show these testimonies to those who are still at home, not to tell them do not leave, because we don't want to tell that, of course, but before leaving, before taking the decision to leave, just be informed of the actual situation of the journey and of the actual dangers. Now, uh, many times, including some of the people we've spoken to, uh, those who haven't left tend to feel like uh, my experience will be different than the person who went there before me. Has there been any evidence that perhaps if they have this information, there are a number of people who may choose not to try the journey? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, we, we don't have any actual, for the moment, uh, um, evidence of the fact that people who are informed, they changed their mind. But we felt that there was a moral duty from IUM, and uh, we are working here since a long time. We are still working also in Niger and in transit countries to inform those migrants, because actually, you know, migrants who are coming to Italy, they arrive for many reasons. Many of them are fleeing for regimes and persecutions. And of course, refugees are not our targets. We are talking to those migrants who can have a choice, who are maybe they just wanted to go to Libya to find a job, and they are being caught there, stuck in this country, and they decided to go further. Yeah. I mean, we are just trying to understand if this campaign could be could it be efficient and effective to save lives? Now, because uh, very quickly, because you can't tell who exactly is planning to leave his country, uh, are you targeting about everybody in that country? Sorry, I didn't understand are you, you. Are you targeting like millions of people? Because how, how would you tell who is about to leave? Of course, we are targeting a lot of people. Okay. We are targeting, since we have a, a lot of uh, our offices in, uh, in, uh, in, in uh, transit countries, in origin countries, we are working together with them. But most of all, we are working on social media tools because we know that migrants, they made up the decision to okay. leave and to arrive to Europe oh. or to go to Libya on social media. Okay. So we used a lot of Facebook, which also Thank already you. has our Facebook page of the campaign, 44,000 likes. Okay. And we hope that these testimonies of migrants uh, that we are gathering and we are showing, migrants talking to migrants. We are not okay. talking to migrants as IUM. This oh, is okay, a non-branded campaign. Flav, uh, we'll continue this conversation. Thank you very much. Uh, that's uh, Flavio Di, uh, Di Giacomo of uh, the International Organization for Migration speaking to us from Geneva.